Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, what do you get when you have one of the sickest vocalists in modern American death metal decide they want to make some carcass-inspired death metal? The answer to that is internal infestation and their demo on Go Throne Records. Hails to Aaron and internal infestation. You have Vomitus from Seep on vocals here. And I really love his vocal style. It's fucking gross. And he also did all the lyrics here while Daniel Bonafigaro did all instruments. And I'm sorry if I butchered your name, man. But the artwork here. It really sums up the tunes, and that is gruesome graphics. Fuck yeah. The layout and design is by Coffin Life Visuals. I love this release so fucking much, because it's like getting modern American death metal, but then just instead of the super loud overly just high in the mix vocals you get straight up early carcass sounding vocals i would say up into necroticism for example Check out this pink shell as well. Holy shit. It's awesome looking. Matching the logo and everything. Fucking sick. This is one of those demos that you can't stop listening to. I really enjoy it. You have Morbid Perversity. Aurora Gorealis. And Chainsaw Bloodlust. Sick three track demo. It's one of those that has very high, very high replay value. So if you like the vocalist of Seep, but you want to hear a more carcass-inspired, yeah, this has you covered. Like, I love Seep, but they're absolutely crushing blend of disgusting death doom metal is night and day to internal infestations, more carcass-driven, yet modern American death metal vibes. I love this release, and I also love Seep. 
choosing between the two is hard and I'm not going to do that because I like them both very much honestly they're two of my favorite modern demos honestly like they're fucking sick I listen to the seep one all the time still like again high replay value on demos is a good fucking thing and Internal Infestation, one of those bands I can't wait to hear more from. And I think it's awesome, you know, coming from a two-piece and Seep at the time being a one-piece, I think. It was just Vomitous. Oh no, you also had Meat Sack on bass guitar. I forgot, sorry. But Vomitous wrote and recorded all songs. So that's badass. So you can get Boiled and Pissed by Seep, or you could check out the Aurora Gorealis with Internal Infestation. Sick shit with both of these releases, especially if you love moldering, melting corpses. But these releases are like night and day. Because real quick, listen to Seep compared with Internal Infestation. Because it's a totally different style of death metal. But it's equally as fucking sick. I also like how each demos have a single-sided J card. Although completely different projects on completely different labels, Gurgling Gore, Goat Throne. But we have Vomitus on vocals here, and we have Vomitus on vocals here. Let's check them out. Here's Seep. Flem Burial. Off souvenirs of a necrosadist. If you haven't heard this yet, get on it. Same with internal infestation. Way deeper. already gone over seep I just wanted you to hear how awesome vomitus is when it comes to vocals because let's check out internal infestation now knowing that it is the same individual behind the vocals on seep different styles and it works. So here we have 
have the more carcass-inspired version of Vomitus on vocals. And with Seep, we have the more straightforward death metal performance from Vomitus. Awesome stuff either way. Pick your poison, but I really love this internal infestation demo. It, again, marks everything I want to hear from a demo off my checklist. But, thankfully, somebody decided, hey, let's not just do low, guttural, brutal vocals. Let's go the more rotten early carcass route and see how it works. And it ended up sounding fan-fucking-tastic on Goat Throne Records' Internal Infestation and their debut demo tape, which I am 99.9% .9 sure is sold out on cassette. The band might have copies, but I think they have a CD version. So if they do have a CD version... Fucking grab it. It's awesome. If you like modern American death metal and you love early carcass, like carcass up to necroticism, but I would say mostly necroticism inspired. A little bit of symphonies of sickness, but there's no like pitch shifted. You know what I mean? Like none of that, just straightforward. I'm gonna sing like Jeff Walker. I do a terrible impression. But the pronunciation's great. Everything about it's fucking sick. Carcass, this is what I expected Surgical Steel to sound like. I don't even know what your new material sounds like. Just, yeah, I don't know. Same with At The Gates. Like, just, just stop. Please, just stop. At War With Reality was just pretty much, and I'm not talking shit, at the gates, I love their early material, I love Slaughter of the Soul, but you already wrote, like, the perfect blueprint for metalcore, so let it be. Like, that's one of the best melodic death metal records ever, and... You can argue all you want, but at the end of the day, at the gates, slaughter of the soul. Come on. For melodic death metal, that's like pretty amazing. And, you know, like I said, for melodic death metal, I do really like earlier at the gates when they were a little bit more gloomy. I would, I would say gloomy. And oddly, one of my favorite tracks off Slaughter of the Soul is that Godflesh worshipping, I think it's the flames at the end. The last song where it's like instrumental and it has a drum machine. That song is fucking sick. Go! Not, not that one. But here we have some... Modern American death metal with carcass necroticism error vocals. And it works amazingly. Hails to Vomitus and I'm sorry Daniel Bonfiguero on all instruments for messing your name up. Dystonic Studios... Dystonic Sounds did the mixing, mastering, and programming. And like I said, the logo and illustration is by Gruesome Graphics. Fuck yes. And who's that? Who's that? Who's ever? Whom ever had the idea to make the pink shell? You fucking rule. What a good cosmetic choice. To match such filth. And again, if you like Vomitus vocally and you haven't heard Seep yet, this is a more straightforward, brutal death metal version of Vomitus' abil vocal abilities. Just kind of like 
you know what I mean by straightforward, like guttural, very low, where this is a little more high, it, yeah, high vocals, and they sound great. Internal Infestation demo, hails to Aaron at Goat Throne Records, and hails to Vomitus and Internal Infestation. And you maniacs at home, thanks for watching. The Accursed Womb tapes are arriving today. We're shipping out orders. So if you want to make our lives a little tiny bit easier, European folks, Molten Face still has some cassette copies. But we are running low on CDs and T-shirts. Tapes are sold out, but the Verminosis Western version is coming soon. So, let's sell the fuck out before we start shipping. Can we do that today? And then the box of stinkers will be given a lot more attention than just Joe Buck yourself. Let's see what else we have here. Oh my god. Trust me, you, you want me to sell out here. What the fuck? Nihilistic Outlaw Criminal Order. Oh my goodness. Born Against Nihilistic 2017 Demo. What the fuck? Yeah, we have some stinkers to go through here, folks. Like Uncle Charlie on Spoiled Humanic Waste, Broken Hate Addict. I think, I think I'll pass on that one. You know, unless we, we sell out of those bad boys. What else do we have here? I'm trying to look for a good one. Uh, we went over that one before. But an unopened Joe Buck Yourself tape. So that will definitely be getting, getting covered. There's a bunch of other just weird stuff in here. I'm sorry, I'm just... I always, like, whenever I look through here, I, I like, get a, like, a grin on my face. Like, what the fuck is this? There's more nihilistic outlaw order stuff. Which I don't even know what that fucking is, but like, I did a little bit of research on it. Yeah, here's more of that nihilistic outlaw criminal order. Oh my, it's a live album. So you know that's, a, that's gonna be fun. Live at Zombies, Amarillo, Texas, 5-31-2017. And, yeah, there's a lot of other shit in here, which I don't want to spoil. So, just know there is a box of stinkers, and if we sell out of everything, I will review everything in that box during a live stream but in the meantime check out internal infestations demo on goat throne records hails to aaron for throwing this my way and the band for helping me out in case i couldn't get a copy but here it is thank you aaron if you like carcass you need to check this out okay and as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hells. Mm.